The spirits have entrusted me with a mission, and I have done and shall do everything necessary to complete it. On May 9, 1872, a small crowd of women fighting for equal rights gathered for the National Women's Suffrage Convention at Steinway Hall in New York City. Elizabeth Cady Stanton resigned as president, and Susan B. Anthony was elected to replace her. Victoria Woodhull entered the hall. All eyes were on her as she gracefully approached the stage. She was young, beautiful. There was something about her blue eyes that drew you in. Susan B. Anthony was about to adjourn the meeting when Victoria took the platform. She wanted to invite the National Women's Suffrage Association to join the Equal Rights Party to nominate candidates for President and Vice President of the United States. The Equal Rights Party was comprised of both men and women. Susan B. Anthony flatly refused. If she were influenced by women's spirits, I might consent. But she is wholly owned and dominated by men's spirits, and I spurn the control of the whole lot of them. Susan B. Anthony. The truth was that nobody owned or dominated Victoria Woodhull. Ignoring Susan B. Anthony, Victoria took the platform and carried the motion overwhelmingly. Everyone was invited to join the Equal Rights Party the following morning at Apollo Hall. Anthony furiously rapped her gavel. This didn't bother Victoria, who continued to speak. In a huff, Anthony stormed off and demanded the janitor to turn off the gas lights. From this convention will go forth a tide of revolution that shall sweep over the whole... Victoria, still talking, was left in the dark. The next day, over 600 delegates met at Apollo Hall to join Victoria Woodhull and the Equal Rights Party. These people represented radical organizations throughout the country. Some were communists, spiritualists, free lovers, and suffragists. This was an important day for them. They were going to nominate candidates for president and vice president of the United States. From this convention will go forth a tide of revolution that shall sweep over the whole world. What does freedom mean? The inalienable right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Victoria Woodhull's beauty may have gotten the audience's attention, but her speech captivated them. A revolution shall sweep with resistless force over the whole country to purge it of political trickery and all industrial injustice. Judge Carter of Cincinnati stood to announce, I nominate Victoria C. Woodhull for the President of the United States. All in favor say aye. I thank you from the bottom of my soul for the honor you conferred upon me. I have stood by you so long, sometimes meriting your applause and sometimes encountering your rebuffs, but I have always been faithful to my principles. Black reformer and lecturer Frederick Douglass was nominated as vice president. Victoria Woodhull became the first woman in American history to be nominated for the presidency. I think about uh, 25 or 30 years ago, I heard about this amazing woman who had run for president on a free love ticket with a freed slave as her vice president. And I was just captivated by even the smallest amount of information. So I went out and, and got uh, a, a book about her, which turned out not to be such a great, accurate book, but nonetheless, I remember saying to people at the time, she should be uh, a play, a musical comedy, um, you know, so, I mean, this is this incredible larger-than-life woman. Victoria Woodhull was not so appreciated in her time. She was often misunderstood and ridiculed. Among the mildest of names, they called her Mrs.